<laughs> Nothing. It's. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be back. Then do something about it. Feel bad, Guardians? Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Lady Skullshoot is the worst flock in timing! Is she here? Just her goons! This time! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive me. Pissing me off. I'm starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them, anyway. We really need to work on our PR. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. That was a bad hit. <laughs> Taking heat. Fuck. That hurt. Like shit. No, you don't. Nothing. It's well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. Feel bad, Guardians. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Lady Skull Shoot us the worst flock in timing! Of the barrage, it will not survive. It. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. Ah, <laughs> he's really pissing me off. Yeah, I don't think the scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under sea. You know, contractors, we're contractors. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Moron. Protect your ports. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill.
doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, every. Flark you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but, but can devote no, no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Great idea! We should tell them about the promise. Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They. Actually, the world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can, can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us, 
The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced, advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary our directive. directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting? For their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless sacrifice. Unknown reasons. The Church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can we adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... it is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We, we are, are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. 
Those promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. 
Man, we've landed. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! So you flew us all the way here? Yup. Without asking? Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh... And then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes? Good enough for me. Whenever you're ready, Quill. Give me a minute. You've had plenty of minutes. Sleeping doesn't count. Rocket, you don't feel weird coming back here after... Focus on what's happening now, Quill. What's done is done. Right now, ship me There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill?
Uh, not exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However... I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait, Drax. We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will ya? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? <laughs> I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is... Get out. If I can just... Squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy can we chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well... Flark, Quill. 
It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. I hope it ain't raining this time. Why would Drax bring us back to Seknarf not? Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, this stuff is gross! Uh kidding me. Ah, wet fur is the worst. <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> Fuck it. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet. And I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save.